Good afternoon, everyone. On a Sunday, it's time for a long-range report update. Here's a look at past December snowfalls. And you can see, in some of these years, of course, normal being four inches, we have seen some pretty snowy Decembers as of late compared to normal. Um, in fact, so far this month of December, we've picked up 3.7, of course, from that one storm yesterday. Then I'm certain that we're going to be adding to that at least a couple inches but you can see three out of the other five years we finished above normal for December snowfall. Um, the most in the month of December recently being 14 inches in 2005 and the least being just a trace a year later in 2006. Historically, a white Christmas, we have about a 25 to 50 percent chance of one. And of course, it will increase as you head to the north and west of our area. Now, long range computer model, the GFS taking a look at the chances of what will be going on by this coming weekend there looks to be a coastal storm in the area whether it brings snow to us or not is yet to be determined for next weekend around the 12th or 13th then it looks like a large expanse of cold air will remain over the area as we move into that following week the week of the 14th hanging around still as we move later in that week another coastal storm may be around and then after that one would move away, we would see continued cold air. So the rest of this month looks cold. And if there's storms that are going to be around, if they catch the cold air and move close enough, we'd see snow from it. So that's going to be the gist through the rest of this month and really the rest of this winter. So it looks to be like we are finally getting to that colder air mass. No more warmth. Uh, it looks like colder air will be moving on in and st sticking around. Now we just need to get the storms to get our snow.